Well, here we are. Yes. 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 The year has finally ended, and we are off to a terrible start, if I should say so myself. Uh, yeah. Uh, we all got sick, and we all stormed the Capitol, and we all ran across crates. And we were able to keep Betty White alive all the way until the very end of this godforsaken fucking year. It's almost as if she said, like, you know what? This is a good time. Good time to end it. I helped y'all through the year. Sorry about that. I just had a realization that I was sitting in here without a drink like I've never done this show before. But anyway, what's up, everybody? This is the Hangover Podcast. Welcome. It's your boy, Trey, a.k.a. Walter White, a.k.a. I'm going to need some new nicknames come this year. Man, where do we even begin? So everybody's sick. Uh, It looks like Turtle Joe, they were able to escape the vid. Shout out to those guys. So hopefully next weekend we'll have a fun-filled weekend of Fan Expo and fucking alcohol poisoning. Who knows, man? That's all I care about. But yeah, man, it was almost like the year decided to end off on the shittiest note that we could possibly fucking think about. You got fucking Betty White dying, which, before I even say the next example, is way more important than anything else we'll ever talk about on this goddamn show. And then Joe fucking Gatto decides that he wants to leave Impractical Jokers because he wasn't paying enough attention to his wife. So now she's leaving him. So now he has all the fucking time in the world. And now he's like, oh, well, then I guess I'm just going to have to quit the show. No, that's the opposite. You were supposed to. You know what I mean? Like, you were supposed to do this before. Like, you don't. You don't fucking. You don't. Like, not talk to your wife for 10 years. And then when she decides to leave, go, okay, well, then I'm going to quit the thing that I was ignoring my wife for. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Oh. But yeah, man, here we are. This isn't going to be a long one. I know the last couple of weeks it's really been a, a shit fest of us just, oh, we're just going to give you all a quickie. And then this week we're just doing the best of wrap up, you know, whatever. For the record, before anybody listens to this and they just start going, oh, wow, Scott just thinks the world of himself. For the record, as I mentioned last week, I let them know ahead of time that I was going to be doing the best of episode, and I told all of us, Nikki, fucking Turtle, fucking Joe, all of them, I said, hey, I'm going to be doing a best of episode. How about y'all go through them, find some favorite moments that y'all were involved in. I mean, we're all involved in all the favorite moments, but there's definitely a a lot of me about to come, (laughs) because besides the fact that I'm fucking hilarious, I'm the only one. I'm the only person that, you know, turned in the favorite moments parts to myself and all the rest of them are like, Oh, we had to work. So did I, but you know what? We're not even going to talk about that. What we're going to talk about is 2022 because God damn it. We're off to a bad start already. You know, I'm sick. Nikki's sick, baby sick. We went and got tested. I don't think it's COVID, but definitely at least regular sick. If that's even a fucking thing anymore. But yeah, we uh, it's been a hell of a ride, guys. You know, we had a lot of shit. You know, shout out to uh, you know our our crossover episode event of the year with Toxicity. <laughs> shout out to those motherfuckers. I haven't heard from them in like three weeks, so I wonder if they just decided to hang it up. <laughs> We're better than you. Um, so then from there, you know, we had the great. Uh, Ian Swamp thing on a bunch of episodes. We had the great fight. Well, before I even go any further, who it looks like they're in the midst of getting their fucking shit together and starting the Degenerates goddamn podcast. Let me hit that button. Look, y'all, I'm not even on the fucking table today. I literally am holding a microphone in my hand. Turtle's going to lose his fucking mind over the goddamn quality. This is probably going to be. But it's just me in here by myself. Nikki's in the front with the baby watching in the dark on Netflix. 
But uh, yeah, so obviously, shout out to Swamp Thing and uh, you know the all all of the totality of the degenerates because I know there's like forty seven fucking y'all like the fucking Baja men, y'all like BTS, just thirty of y'all, and only, people only care about three. I'm not even gonna say who. I'm just gonna let y'all battle it out about who I'm talking about. But uh, but yeah, man. So shout out to the de- degenerates, de- de- degenerates. Uh, shout out to toxicity again. And then, you know, shout out to, uh, we had a lot of great guests this year, man. Shout out to Dot Dunny, fucking Jay Hurst, fucking G Flame, or Get Money Flame. I'm always fucking his shit up. He's going to come back on here sometime soon and just talk spicy again to a bunch of, about a bunch of people. And, you know, it ain't me. It's all him. <clears throat> but yeah, here we are. It's over. Fucking year's done. I don't know why we didn't drop this episode last week, but I guess it makes more sense because it's technically the end. No, no, it doesn't make sense at all, actually. The more I sit here and think about it, the more I think this was a last weekend podcast, but whatever. We wouldn't have been able to get out of it because of Christmas. We had to do the Christmas episode, which ended up just being a quickie regardless. So whatever, man. Here we are anyway. But anyway, what this is about to be is just going to be a mix up of all the different shit that we talked about this year that when I listen to it, it still makes me laugh. It's not a lot. I actually did end up having like 10 fucking episodes with a whole bunch of different moments, but it just, it, it, it ended up becoming so much that I'm like, this is going to be a fucking nine hour wrap up episode. So instead of doing all of that, what we're just going to do is I, I whittled them down to the ones that I've listened to, and I still cry laughing while listening to them. It was just one of those in-the-pocket moments where whatever the fuck it was we were talking about, we just went off, and it it, it just, it was just hilarious. And uh, I I tried, I think we might have one clip in here with a guest, but I think I tried to keep all the guests out of it, because in my opinion, all the guests were great. Everybody, shout out to Larry Frederick, (laughs) Jason Dufresne. But, yeah, everybody this year that came through, everybody was dope as fuck. Uh, we had a, a couple of Dominic, Fitness with Dom. I'm going to just keep naming them off, at, like cutting myself off. Like, Turtle's not here to do it, so I'm going to have to do it. And, uh, you know, just everybody that came through this year was fantastic. Everybody made great content, and I really, you know, we were able to do a lot. We, you know, we, we ended up getting our media pass to Fan Expo. Well, we're starting the year off good with that, but we got it last year, so it counts. Uh, Yeah, I'm just kind of rambling at this point because there's nobody here to bounce off of, and I don't know how much is a lot or too little. So, yeah, we're just going to, you know, play some clips. Uh, I even put it on Facebook at one point. Hey, everybody, send in your – I think the police are here. So, yeah, that was the fucking DoorDash guy trying to give somebody a goddamn heart attack. He beat on my goddamn door like he had the antidote or something. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to go eat that. And uh, in the meantime, you guys enjoy the best of clips for 2021, the year of our Lord and the devil. Enjoy, and I'll be back in a moment. Hey, guys do shit that are gay as fuck. We all go to strip clubs together to get horny. You know, that's what we do, guys. We pay money for people to sing to us. Yep. Specifically it's males. It's weird. I pay a monthly Spotify subscription to mostly have men sing me. That's gay. Yeah. And I like Lil Nas X. All I was thinking right now was a whole bunch of curse words. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> like, they eat a dick. Like, let <laughs> go. <laughs> but nah. Speaking of Lil Nas X, how'd y'all feel about him kissing your boy at the award show? I thought it was great. I didn't let your freak flag fly, baby. I thought he should have sucked his dick. Yep, Fuck right it. there on stage. Fuck it. Show these niggas what's up. You in you there already. Fuck that. You he got should've. a fan base. You making millions. Fuck them niggas. Who mad? Suck his dick. Who's mad? Right there on the stage. Who's the one that's actually mad? Right there on the stage. I bet you he'd have pissed your gotti off if he'd have sucked the dick on that stage. Oh. <laughs> Rick Ross would have started shooting. I just call y'all like that, yo, Gotti. He's just a street nigga, so I just, you know. Rick Ross would have started shooting. I feel like things like that offend street niggas. <laughs> y'all two, ch- two chains with a left. He'd have been like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that. We already heard about two chains at the Kevin Hawk uh, stand up. You would have grabbed his dick? You would have grabbed it? You would have grabbed the chains? <laughs> y'all niggas brought up the subject and took off with that bitch. This I think he should suck his dick. I think he should have sucked his dick. 
<laughs> I think he should have sucked his dick on stage while he was performing. Just like, use it as the microphone. <laughs> You want to know why? <laughs> that Nas, you got a mic. You got, never mind. I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. Never mind. And, Don't uh, put your mouth on the mic like that. And I'm asking. <laughs> Other people got to use that. <laughs> you see that, somebody else come somebody, up after that and be like. <laughs> <laughs> somebody in the back getting ready. Fucking Rihanna back Spraying there. that bitch with light sauce. Rihanna behind stage getting ready to perform. Like, y'all got any extra mics? <laughs> just looking at the stage manager. Can I just manager. use the headset? Just looking Can at I? the stage manager like, uh, y'all got any more microphones? <laughs> and he's just back there like, uh, I think we might have one more. Why, Miss, my, why, Miss Rihanna? Because uh, your boy out there. <laughs> and I don't know what he's doing, but I know I don't like it. And I don't want my mouth anyway. You know? Last time I did that, I got in trouble. <laughs> so... <laughs> And I, I personally didn't see him kiss anybody. I didn't see. I didn't see the shit either. But I didn't give a fuck. Nah, it, it was. It was. I didn't give a fuck. It was a BET yeah, yeah, performance. Yeah, yeah. You should. Like, I wouldn't have been shook. You said it was a beautiful performance. I said it was a BET performance. Oh, like, <laughs> I thought you were like it was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, you went up there, just sucked that man's face. Man, it was gorgeous. <laughs> no, and I was listening to a, a podcast the other day, and they made a pretty good fucking point. Them dudes were like, "Why is it that every time somebody doesn't agree with something, they always got to bring their kids into it?" It's always, oh, my kids are watching. No, you're homophobic. Shut the fuck right. up. Right. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Facts. Like, you, you, like you watched Britney Spears and Madonna make out on the NTV Awards. And didn't say a fucking And went word jacked off in the bathroom. For a month. After you watched it with your wife and kids. With nothing but mental pictures. Exactly. You seen, you seen Madonna grab Lil' Kim's titty on fucking camera. Live. Like- MTV Awards. And you was like, oh, that Madonna. And then... And then what makes it even better Lil is... Lil Nas X slips a nigga tongue and now you're like, God damn it, he's fucking up the culture. My kids are going to be gay looking at this. The what? hip hop is now for the flamers. Bullshit. Your kids always like to skip rope. Your kids always like to skip rope. Lil Nas X didn't do that. He's always like to skip rope. You can't blame it on... Did you break my fucking tablet? I did. It's a little broken, but, you know, we're going to recover. But yeah, recover man. Recover and rebuild. I, I don't understand why you got to put the fuck... Bring your Trump fucking kids into it. Just say you hate gay people. Like, right. Just be honest. Just say you hate gay people. Yeah. I give you way more respect if you were honest about things that you prefer or you didn't like at all. And right. The game's the game. If you don't like gay people, cool. Don't fuck them. I don't know what you're saying. Right. <laughs> that's simple, huh? Yes, that's simple. Don't fuck Keep your people. asshole closed. Shut up. Leave them the fuck alone. They're going to fuck whoever the fuck they want to fuck, and they're going to suck whoever's dick they want to suck on whatever stage they want to suck dick on. <laughs> and you're not going to tell them all Basically, about. Scott's just saying he wanted to see little I just wanted to see him suck dick. a dick. I don't... I'm like, you know what? This kissing shit. What are we in fucking twelve? <laughs> Suck that man's Suck his dick. dick. <laughs> Make a statement, damn it. The fuck? That's how you kiss your mom. Give him some fucking tongue. <laughs> and then you hear you hear Larry. You hear Larry in the background. He's like, oh, my kid's gonna look at this shit. It's like, first of all, you haven't talked to your kid in four years. <laughs> now suddenly you give a shit what they're fucking watching. Do you remember his name? You're not gonna get him on your tax return anymore. Do you care? <laughs> Do you even give a shit? Hey, that'd be them cats, though. That'd be like, uh, like you said, like you seen fucking Madonna, like, grab Kim and fucking Britney kissing bitches. Like, right. that, that'd be them cats that, like, see that and expect that. Like, I want more of this. Like, yo, what the fuck is this, yo? Yo, this right. fucking like, gay, bro. There's no fucking bitches making out, bro. What the fuck, the fuck is this? That'd be them cats. You want to know the Let's only go thing? play some beer pong and tug each other's dicks. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? You want to arm wrestle, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go outside and play full contact football. <laughs> Naked. <laughs> <laughs> no football. You know I used to wrestle in high school. You know you, you I'll show, go throw on my Todd right now, bro. I'll go throw it on right now. Let me show you my moves. <laughs> I got a spare cup. You want it? You we can do this moves. together. <laughs> I got an extra cup and headgear, bro. We can go. But yeah, don't let your boy make out on this fucking BT. Yeah. Don't do it. Don't do it. Gotta hey, know. no, you know NFL's coming. But you, you do play naked toe. oil twister? No? You gotta prove how not gay you are <laughs> by doing some gay shit. Let's go lift that fr- refrigerator. Oh, man. <laughs> Don't even need to fucking move the refrigerator. <laughs> after, you watch, <laughs> after you watch Lil Nas X make out with a dude, you're like, we need to fucking rearrange the furniture. <laughs> bro, help me lift Come this. Come on, bro. Grab one under the couch. I'm gonna grab the other. <laughs> help me lift this. Around. Help me lift this. Come on. <laughs> But if we spin the couch around, we got to remount the TV. We'll do it, too. Let's grab the power tools. We'll get this shit done. I need to drill a hole. I need to drill a hole. It looks like a vagina. It's not gay. <laughs> <laughs> what Holy the fuck? shit. 
Oh, uh, God. Yeah, so basically, little, 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 People literally make out with people. No, y'all want to talk shit about Lil Nas X, but nobody want to bring up g Easy punk ass getting punked by Britney a couple years ago. <laughs> but they want on stage when he tried to go in and kiss that bitch, and she went, nah, son. <laughs> nobody brings that shit up. You good, little nigga. <laughs> you just got here, bitch. I've been here since 98. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. All right. So wait, wait, wait. All right, I got to hear this because Turtle came to me one day and while we were talking about the video games i mentioned far cry and he said yeah you know i've played a couple of them uh they were cool he's like i played far cry primal that was like the biggest different one that i've played since they all came out so in a sense i don't really feel the need to play far cry 6 because i feel like all the games are pretty much the same yeah. and then i went well joe how do you feel about it? i never got to play far cry 6 and then the other night we got into a huge debate with a guy that's never played the game before, but all he kept talking about was how stupid it was. We also got into a big debate about a guy who never played 2K. I played 2K. Like, no, I have played 2K. No, you Wait, haven't. In 2009? I played 2K like last year, year before. No, Lies. You didn't. Yes, I did. With who? With who? By myself. Lies. You're lying through your fucking Lies. Why am I lying? Lies. Ask me about it. Show me your download history. No, I'm not going to ask, ask you me. about it. It's Show me your download it's history. A it's a setup. I know you're lying. <laughs> Show no, me your download lying, history. Because all he's going to be like, he's going to be like, all you're doing is. And that's all he's gonna do. It's a setup. No, <laughs> you're fucking lying. Oh god, the cat. Oh god, this guy's stupid. So wait, so why do you hate Far Cry so much as a man who's never played? It? I never said I hate never Far said Cry. Never said he hated it. You're just not gonna. No, play you gotta it. stay out of it. <laughs> so, <laughs> so why? I why, said the same thing. No, why I said it so lame? I didn't say yes, that. You, yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. You said it was lame as fuck. Did I? Yes. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Why do you not like Far Cry so much? Because you don't like 2K. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's literally how this happens. All right, so you, you want to you buy go to 2K? On, you go to shitting on 2K, so me being me. I, I never sh- shit on 2K. I literally, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because what you just said was false. You what you just said was fucking false. So what happened was I took a screen grab of the game downloading, posted it in the group chat, and I said, damn, they said it's dropping today, but it ain't dropping until 11 p.m. And then you started saying, oh, L. You got L. You got L. It's actually, I did, I did it's actually that, huh? lame as hell. I did do that, huh? And I was like, <laughs> wait, my game's lame? I'm like, you literally buy the same game every year. You want to know what it was? What? The, uh... The the number the numbers that you posted is it had on there that there was that it was higher than two K. Yeah. So I felt some type of way. You mean like the the downloads or like What's the popularity? That? Whatever numbers you posted. On oh, there. you're talking about the uh, the the reviews. Whichever one it was. When I sent the screenshot to the yeah. reviews? Yeah. Yeah, so I felt like that. was after you said it was lame. No. Oh, it absolutely was. No. 100%. Oh, wait, you posted the screenshot of you downloading it. Yes. I was like, L. And you L. were like, oh, that's actually yeah. lame. And I was like, yeah, it is lame. I'm like, they said it's dropping today. And then, I, you know, no, I'm actually talking about the game itself. I did say that. And I was <laughs> like, wait, you're saying my game's lame? It's got a higher rating than the game that you love. And you're like, yeah, but it's a better game. No, it's not. <laughs> It's the same fucking game every year, Joe. <laughs> this shit went on for like two hours, Joe. <laughs> Nicole get mad. She's like, you should be spending time with your son. And I'm like, I'm busy. <laughs> <laughs> that Ashley old goofy miss. I played old games that I never beat more jump in. <laughs> what fucking talking about something? It's the same game every year. She posts a game that she played. Final Fantasy was in there. We really going to do this? <laughs> I mean, what got me was you jumped in. And then Sean was cradling your balls the whole time. But uh, you jumped in there at one point. You were like, what, Mr. Last of Us? There's only been two Last of Us, Joe. Oh, yeah, Mr. Mr. Spider-Man? There's only, been, been, there's only been two Spider-Mans, Joe. <laughs> there's been 11 team 2Ks. <laughs> All of them revolving around the exact See, same you, thing. You want to know what your problem is? You Tell me. <laughs> Clearly you don't <laughs> clearly you mistaken me for a nigga that's not gonna fight back, nigga. <laughs> I don't give a fuck how wrong I am. <laughs> Bitch, I'm coming. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto. There's been five, six, seven. Eleven. You bought all of them. No then. I bought three. Alright, wait. I bought three. I bought Vice City. I bought San Andreas. Yeah. I bought all of them from three up except for Chinatown Wars. All the Batman games. And hold up, wait, so wait, you're saying all the Grand Theft Auto games are the same? Not not in a sense, but same concept. It's the same thing. Isn't? You really think so? You steal a car, you kill the people. <laughs> <laughs> 
We already know since Grand Theft Auto 3, if you have sex with the hooker, you can kill her afterwards and get your money back. <laughs> like Walmart. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> and I literally and y'all y'all tried to bring Batman into it, and literally had the conversation yesterday. Arkham Asylum, you're stuck in the asylum. Arkham City, you're stuck in the city. Arkham Knight, you're still stuck in the city, but you get the Batmobile. <laughs> <laughs> now, in regards to the conversation that we had the other day, you were wrong on sixty percent. But so were you. No, it wasn't because two K is the same game every year. No. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Last year, could they, you? They last sh- year, yes, I can't shoot the ball. No, the last hoop. year, <laughs> could you play the Pelicans versus the Nuggets? Yep. Yes. What about the game the year before? Yep. What about the year before that? Yeah. Yep. Year before that. Yeah. Year before that. Yeah. No, they were the Hornets back then. <laughs> 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 so no, no, Chris Paul's on the game now, but now he plays for the Lakers. So he's wearing a yellow jersey this year. <laughs> I'm proud of you for that. It's like the same thing as fucking. Wait, was I right? Holy <laughs> shit, was I right? No, no, no you weren't. You weren't right at all. Oh shit, fuck. Yeah. Damn it. But I'm proud of you for like <laughs> for doing that. Though, okay. you know? But in your defense, now I can only say this with a 20 minute rendition of playing Far Cry Six. Talk to me. It's pretty much the same. I told you. That was the only thing that was a little upsetting <laughs> is that I, as I started playing There's the game. There's a warlord. He's got our town hostage. What do we have to do to stop him? So All these crazy things and <laughs> pet these animals and shoot these weird guns. I and, swear to God, I bought. And here's an army base. One of the Let's opening, go in here. Do we sneak in or is it just blowing up? One of the opening blow missions. Because it it's easier you to get just a blow fucking it up. Alligator because if you don't sneak in properly, you get your ass beat by a lot of people. That's most games. Except for 2K. Because you don't have to sneak in. <laughs> Just go in there, yam shit, and get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> you heard? So, what I had today, got, no, what I had today this. for lunch, Scott? Huh? What I had today for lunch, Scott? I don't know. Green beans. <laughs> anyway, uh, but no, the game itself, it's still from like from from starting to play it, it still seems pretty cool. Turtle, you better dab him. Yeah. It still seems pretty I cool. But like I know in this one it was like almost like the Grand Theft Auto thing where it was like, remember they had Grand Theft Auto 3, it was the biggest game ever, and holy shit, I, they made a game like this. It changed the it changed the scope of games forever. Yeah. And then Grand Theft Auto Vice City came out right afterwards and they were like, okay, what's new? You can ride motorcycles. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Same game, pretty much, uh, but it's in Miami now. So, drugs, but, bright colors. Yeah. <laughs> so I mean, like as far as Far Cry Six go, I have a pet alligator, and uh, see what I'm attack. saying? He can attack. See what I'm saying? Uh, right now, I'm working on getting <laughs> chorizo these and do these things. I'm trying to get chorizo because chorizo is a little paralyzed puppy that'll go run around and bite people. It's, it's so much fun. See what I'm saying? Yeah. See, <laughs> when I was watching you play the last one, didn't you have a tiger? Oh no, that was when I was playing. Um, Primal, yeah. primal, yeah. yeah. Saber tooth tiger, yeah, yeah. yeah you can get the you tiger. can actually ride the saber tooth though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. That's your vehicle. Mm-hmm. Tight. Yeah, right. primal was pretty dope. Right, and it was actually like he said, it's like actually a step. It's the same game. You're not about to tell me that the last one was better than this one so far. Uh, no. What I will say, Far Cry Five was okay. Far Cry Five was cool because I liked that it was the, the cult element. So wait, yeah. primal was before five. Primal, yeah. Primal was oh, okay, before okay. four and five. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like, he, like he said, it's like the base, same basic outlook in every game. Like, I think yeah. in the third, I've, I've only played from like the. Th- I think I played the second one, but I didn't care. I actually played three, Primal, four, five, and I'm not gonna play this. Uh, I'm most, I decided on five. Like, I, uh, it's the same shit. It's basically like you're in a new territory. So yeah, it's essentially the it. same game in a new territory with like, and I like the story. The story's cool, but like this one, um, I like Gian, like they got Giancarlo Esposito to play the yeah. the the, uh, the president of the country. It, it's basically a rip off of Cuba, right. and they're like enslaving people. And if anybody tries to leave the island, you get mur- they're killing people in that like genocide. And it's like now you're joining the guerrilla army to like stop him. Right. Shit. But the layout of the game is the same. Like throughout the fucking map, there's outposts with enemies in it. You have to go in, take over the outposts, and the more outposts you take over, the more your people take the island back. And uh, see, the only game that I don't mind that's like that is just cause. I was about like, to say I know it. it's going to be the same thing every time, but come on, dude. Like, 
Yeah, I, I, you can't tell me tethering a fucking tank to a helicopter isn't the shit. That's pretty yeah, cool. That's yeah, right. <laughs> see, I, no matter how, no matter where you put me at, that's still gonna be cool. Yeah, I'm about to say the same thing. I'm about to say, I'm about to say uh, Mad Max though, but it's just cause. Yeah. Just cause, yeah, 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 yeah. I played the third one. That shit was fucking insane. Yeah, just cause four was my favorite, just because you can go in the fucking space and then like squirrel suit down. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, shit's extreme. All right. <laughs> The only thing Grand Theft Auto is missing, man, and I think they're not doing it because of 9-11. You got to be able to steal a passenger plane. That's the only thing <laughs> they this, need to do. I ask this nigga, son, every yeah. time we play, I try to steal one of them bitches. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Every time. And I think they won't let you do it because then there's going to be you uh, can steal some pretty big videos ones all over YouTube of people running them into fucking... And you, are you can steal some pretty big ones. Right. Like, oh, yeah, you can't tell me how many times I've jumped out of a helicopter and then yell Kobe. <laughs> <laughs> what? People any, hate me online. Or any or, or anything. <laughs> this nigga just hop out that bitch, don't say nothing. Like <laughs> or I just, thought y'all see me, honey. <laughs> yeah, we did, but what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. But yeah, so far playing Far Cry Six. I mean, like the story the story's compelling. I like I, I wanna play it through to like get to the story, but like I will say like twenty minutes in, uh he started crying, so like I had to like, you know, get off and I was tired and shit. But it was still just like twenty minutes in. I'm like, this feels very familiar. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. uh, like I love, like I, I remember having the thought as I started playing it, where they were like, you know how the opening of every fucking game, like press circle to crouch, and yeah. they're showing you like how to, like it's like the little quick tutorial. I was literally waiting for them to be like, you don't know how to play this shit already. <laughs> let you go, just go ahead, bro. Actual, <laughs> actual fucking thought that I had. Well, you know that that's how they start doing it. Some of the games that've been around so long, where they don't really change the controls, they ask you like, have you played before or have right, you not? Right, 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 right. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you start doing that on most of these games, I'd probably play a lot more of them. Yeah, because I do like the uh, like the the way that they've incorporated the tutorial missions has become more creative. Yeah, yeah. which I think it's is kind of cool. like it makes you do an intro mission to yeah, do the tutorial. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. Right. So that I'm cool with, but then it also feels like a humongous waste of fucking. Time. It does because <laughs> now they're like fucking two hours long worth of fucking intro mission, and then you finally get the title screen. And you like swear to God, I was just playing the intro. The whole <laughs> time. We've been playing Call of Duty since Call of Duty Four. Modern Warfare. I think we know how to play. Modern That's like Warfare. Cyberpunk. Like I got past the point of them killing my homeboy, and I was, and then they showed me the title screen for Cyberpunk. I was like, swear to God, that was the intro. <laughs> <laughs> that shit took me four and a half days, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it was fucked up. I played that shit for like two days, and I didn't get to that. <laughs> Wait, you said si- you you played Cyberpunk? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, oh, you I finally did. caved in and got it. Yeah, I've been, I, I, I told I you that. Oh, I didn't know that. told you. I told yeah. you just like eight episodes ago. Oh shit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and you was like, yeah, it's not all that to be, huh? I was like, yeah, it's really not. Uh-huh. It's graphically nice. It is graphically nice. Yeah, and yeah, I feel like pretty. once they once they finally finish with all the fucking Pick my old dick size. Yeah, you did. I chose a tiny one though. Yeah. I don't want to be on there like trying to flex. No, you want to be saying? angry. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You want an angry little dick central. The helicopter. <laughs> so my issue with you is Joe are you ever going to get off a 2K and play an actual game <laughs> what that fucking <laughs> you know what your problem is tell like, me it's your problem right now you're stupid oh, <laughs> it's, it's your problem <laughs> no I will never no it's, the same, it's not the same game Scott I could rap in this one I could yeah. rap I could do yeah. bars See, I didn't even, you know what I didn't even I don't even have the studio yet mm-hmm. like I, I did the, I did the missions and shit like that I, do the, I got the record label I got the fashion uh, I got the fashion line all that shit yeah like you can do all of it I'm out your like, fucking boss <laughs> I, go I got yet. a little nigga come and pick me up in a Bentley <laughs> drive me wherever the fuck I want <laughs> balling nigga I think I hit my zip line and go hoop on niggas that's what I do <laughs> See like, now, two K is starting to slowly transition. Like, did y'all ever uh, get to watch that last Dane Cook stand up special? That motherfucker. Uh, it was mm. called uh, Troublemaker. No, last Dane <laughs> Cook special I watched was a Vicious Circle. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. Well, this was like his. He's been gone for years, and this was like his comeback. Oh, the when, one where everybody was like, "Oh, Dane Cook looks so shitty." Yeah, he looked like shit, but it was actually <laughs> hilarious. I was actually like, Dane Cook still got it, man. But um. He did one, and he was just like, "Yeah, you know, uh, I stopped playing video games." He's like, "They've they've become too violent." He's like, "I was uh I was playing a game." He's like, "I'm running around. I got my gun up." He's like, "And I run through a library, and I saw a little boy sitting in the library, and poof, shot him in the face." <laughs> He's like, "I shot the little boy in the face, right right in the book." Walked over to him. <laughs> Walked over to him and then, if you will, teabagged him. I teabagged a little boy that I just shot in the face. 
And you know what's fucked up about it? I was playing Madden. <laughs> So that was the one that I was like, <laughs> I feel like 2K is headed in a very different direction. Yeah, no, it's like, yeah, well, like it's, eventually one day you're going to come in here and you're going to be like, no, Scott, you have no idea. And it's like, no, stop. It's 2K33. I get it. It's over with. I don't I've already hear about thought it. of the option. I don't like, they should let anymore. me punch niggas on the court yeah. when I get back. Like, Scott, Scott, you don't understand. I lost. I pistol whipped the nigga. It was crazy. No, Scott, you don't understand. Up that shit. Me We're court. halfway. <laughs> We're halfway. Bitch ass this nigga. <laughs> Scott, you don't understand. We're halfway through the game, and then out of nowhere, poof, lights cut off. Vince in the f- fucking ceiling open. Men with guns start coming down. I already had the piece on me because I finished my CIA training the week before. <laughs> so now it goes from how am I going to beat the Sixers to now everybody in here is relying on me to get them the fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm about to run everybody VC on this court. Everybody's VC coming with me. <laughs> God, that's what I'm waiting for, is that eventually, like, Call of Duty and 2K are going to do a crossover. <laughs> and, like, oh, we're going to take the... You set of free throws is throwing knives. We're going to take the LA Lakers, and we're going to bring them to Iraq <laughs> to play a peace game. And the next thing you know, the peace is destroyed. <laughs> we have to leave the stadium and go fight for our fucking country. <laughs> hit my fucking foot what are you? Head. What do these guys think we are, superheroes? No. We're NBA players. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, shut up, because you might be on to something. <laughs> <laughs> Next thing you know, Scott, shut up. Go buy the game. I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah, so we just got to come out with our own game. And instead of calling it like NBA Streets, we just call it Streets. Like mm. niggas play basketball. And if you know you feel some type of way after that nigga just dunked on you, punch him in the mouth. It's got to be something <laughs> It's got to be something different every and you time. You can like level up. You know what I'm saying? Instead of punch him in the mouth, you can pistol whip him. It's got to be something different. <laughs> you can fucking, like, every, give him a wedgie if you don't want to be violent. It's got to be something different every single time. Like I just bought 2K23. What? Which one's that one? All right, so we're outside. We're playing. I'm, I, I decided to do the story mode, right? So, like, I'm outside playing as a kid on a fucking basketball court, just looking for his first big shot. I go to shoot the ball. It hits the rim, and it bounces off. As I go to rebound it, fucking light comes down, beams me up. I get taken to fucking Wakanda. <laughs> And now, all of a sudden, it's not 2K anymore. I'm playing a fucking Avengers game. <laughs> you know, you know the first one he just And that's how I get to my college years. <laughs> the what? It, it's, it's, it almost sounds like you're putting uh, you're putting 2K with uh, Division. Yeah. Because Division, like, if you walk around the Division City, mm-hmm. it's fucked up. Yeah, yeah facts. <laughs> you're just running to some niggas who won't shoot you just by walking around the block. <laughs> it's fucked up. So if you put like a basketball court on that, and then niggas start to start shooting and shit like that, now you gotta get out the mud for real. You have division, yeah, with basketball. Facts. The only thing it's I'm waiting. Hype. The only thing I'm. <laughs> the only thing I'm waiting for now is it's gonna have to turn into. Uh, can he start doing drugs? He, he's in the neighborhood. He went. He bought some coke. And now he's got more stamina during the games, but boom, random piss test. <laughs> now, now you're suspended for six weeks. Now you're suspended for six weeks. You're court ordered. You're going to have to go. You already beat your wife. You already beat your wife. Now you're court ordered. She's taking the kids. You got to go to rehab. Is that your apartment it's really a, yours? It's a button. You know? Like you got to press the or button. Or is it the teams? You got to press the button. Like, cause now you go to your fucking, uh, you got to take your piss test and you're already fucked up. But you got a fake bag of piss. Now you got to press the buttons at the right time to get the piss into the cup. Otherwise, you, you miss too many buttons. Boom, you lose your fake fucking piss test. You're going to jail, son. <laughs> hey, yo, Mike Wayne, take notes, son. <laughs> take notes, bro. My guy's on to something, bro. Don't do, give P- me the option to do steroids. For real, put the PEDs <laughs> in Let the me game. choose my career path. <laughs> I think if I want to jump in the crowd and punch a fan in the fucking mouth like Brian Artest, then that's what the fuck I'll do. (laughs) Street baller forever, son. I think that's definitely the problem with 2K is that they keep adding fun shit. Meta world peace. You said you could be a rapper. You could get a sponsorship from Kia. You could start a clothing line. But you're not bringing the real life situations into the shit. I have an anger (laughs) problem. (laughs) And that dude sitting behind the coach keeps throwing shit at me when I sit down. But nobody else sees it. So I'll wait one more fucking time. He throws his popcorn. I turn around and Deck him in his fucking mouth. And now we just went from 2K to a boxing game. We're done here. <laughs> you know the crazy thing about that is? What? If, if shit was to get like that and I'm playing online, I would shoot half my own teammates. <laughs> Right. As soon as Sean go to shoot that bullshit ass three, I'm shooting that nigga right in his kneecap. The other team, Bow. the other team, stupid motherfucker. The other team never <laughs> pisses me off more than my own team does. <laughs> I mean, shoot. I feel like that's usually how it goes. Sometimes uh, how it fuck goes. Me. All right. So, with that being said, yeah, I think we need to write our own 2K game. 
We'll get the rights to do some NBA. <laughs> we'll games. call it two K's. Two K. <laughs> <laughs> two K. I'm, I'm fucking with that. <laughs> God damn it! I swear, I swear to God. Next thing you know, you're just like, wait. I started off playing on the fucking like. Then you really get to see how far you've come. You, you get you get to reflect back on all that. Like, dude, two weeks ago when I started playing this fucking game, I was just a kid playing on the fucking playground, and now taking a piss test right here <laughs> with a PO behind me because I've proven in the past because you had to do two other piss tests that you fucked up. Now I got a PO behind me staring, up, looking at my dick. What do I got to do to get back to the way that it was? Call like Josh Gordon. <laughs> drunk texting your, your wife that you found somewhere in the game. You're drunk texting. I'm sorry, God. Please see my kids. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm doing better. I just <laughs> passed the piss test. I promise. A pass. Got a 10 day contract with the Lakers. Where are you right now? Lie. Tell the truth. But you're so drunk. Even if you click truth, you're going to try to lie. <laughs> try to lie. <laughs> I'm at a fucking bar right now, babe. <laughs> Because of what I, you did to me. I want to be honest. <laughs> All these lies. I am drinking. Next thing you know, Joe walking into the bedroom, laying next to D-Row like, I don't know what. I don't know what the fuck I did, what decisions I made in life, but holy shit, man. <laughs> Shukai's on to me. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, you're making 2K sound a lot of tackish right now. Hey, hey, the day that all of this shit happens, I'll throw Far Cry 6 out the fucking window. <laughs> You'll learn how to And hoop. I'll come play 2K with you every fucking night. Yeah, but you would never hoop. <laughs> <laughs> it would literally just be like... Uh, Scott's last basketball game would be like 10 years ago. <laughs> I mean, like, this nigga's just been off doing drugs, fucking hookers. I don't know. <laughs> We do that thing. We do the old school. Well, not the old school thing, but like everybody got a TV set up in a different room. Everybody's playing. And then finally it's like by 3 a.m. Everybody's like, Scott hasn't played the last two games with us. What's going on? Yo, Scott, what the fuck? And then like after y'all all go back to the hotel after the game's over, like, yo, we did good, man. Someone just got to find Scott. It's got to be Breaking the news. White. Everybody turns and looks at the TV. Scott was just found outside snorting crack off of a hooker's penis. <laughs> and when you look next to Scott's fuck? player profile and it says which, which players he's most like, it's just going to say Dennis Rodman. <laughs> <laughs> NBA comparison. <laughs> Next thing you know, oh, they, they just won the championship, but they bring me out <clears throat> in the middle of right before the game starts, right before the Star Spangled Banner. Everybody, I'm here to talk to you about what your life could become. I used to be on the same bench as these fucking guys, man. And now look at me. <laughs> I lost that race. That's what the future pro am going to be like <laughs> online. The pro am is going to be like that. Next thing you know, I'm leaving at 6 o'clock in the morning. All right, guys, that was fun, man. That shit took a dark fucking turn. <laughs> Nigga, you didn't even play with us. <laughs> you played two games. I'm not doing good enough. I got to buy the cocaine so I this can keep up with This nigga was in rehab job. for both the pickup games. Okay? <laughs> nigga, what you was doing? This? I was out trying to get Adderall so I could hoof, nigga. Just... <laughs> I get the shakes now when I shoot, okay? <laughs> Yeah, it's something to mellow this shit out. Shit. I thought I was greening all night. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> out there like Holy homeboy, shit. Out there like homeboy of a uh, long cave poly rain dance. <laughs> 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 Fucking white chocolate. <laughs> all right. So did y'all get to watch and see the video? Yeah. Uh, 2K. Take some notes from us, guys. Yeah, Mike Wang, you hear my guy we over here dropping shit, gems. bro. I don't even play your fucking game, and I know how to make it better. Fuck. You know how like uh, you know how now whenever you play a Call of Duty game, they got the little pop-up before it begins. Like, do you want to see the bad shit, or do you want us to block the bad shit? And you're like, fuck it, show the bad shit. <laughs> and I think somebody's going to throw 2K25 in there and just be like, this is weird. <laughs> Why did you give me out of the bed, shit? So. Somebody's like, well, my kid's going to play. Maybe they're cursing. I don't want my kids to hear curse words. And then their best friend shows up the next day. Bro. <laughs> did you do the heroin? Did you do the heroin? No, fucking no, did it. then there's always going to be that one kid. There's going to be that one kid. Just the cool dad. She's going to be like, yeah, bro, you can hear a little cursing. Go ahead. Hit it. And then he walks out the room and then the turtle shows up. Bro. Did you play it yet? No. <laughs> Bro, I did the heroin. Did the heroin? Did the... <laughs> Timmy! No! <laughs> That's going to be the name of the episode. Did you do the heroin? <laughs> I'm writing that down. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man. You know, niggas be Warzone heavy, too. Boy, you started calling the game off like that. <laughs> 
Oh shit! So it started two K off like that. Niggas is switching from Warzone. <laughs> Trying to go do the heroin, bro. <laughs> Yo, y'all playing the new fucking Call of Duty game? Nah, bitch, we got the new 2K. Oh, you fucking nerds. I'm the fucking nerd. My guy hasn't played eight fucking basketball games because he lost his kids. He gets his two front teeth from his meth addiction. I go to fight. I go to bring him out on the court to play the game, and he just stops and just stares into the distance, wondering what happened to his kids. And then he goes and he does the fucking heroin. Oh, Holy shit. shit. All right, well, speaking of fun stuff, did y'all see what happened? Between the Idaho governor and lieutenant governor? No, mm. not at all. All right, so I'm paraphrasing here. Okay. I don't remember the whole story verbatim, but what ended up happening was apparently the governor went to Texas to go talk to, uh, he was one of the people that were called down to Texas to go talk to Biden about the uh, immigration issue that's apparently running <laughs> rampant in our country. And uh, <laughs> while he was out there, the lieutenant governor... Got a little ahead of herself. <laughs> oh, did she now? Oh, did she now? Uh, uh, the two things that I heard were uh, she she sent out a uh, she sent out a, a, a law. Basically, she 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 in her one day that she was apparently in office as governor, mm-hmm. as acting governor, mm-hmm. uh, she stripped away the mask mandates. Mm-hmm. She stripped away the vaccine mandates, mm-hmm. and 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 yeah. Uh, the governor was up there going, Hey, look, just cause I'm over here. No, <laughs> that's not how that works. Like I'm going to change all this shit. Once I get back tomorrow, you realize right, 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 right. apparently she tried to call out the national guard and, uh, the national guard were like, we don't fucking answer. To you. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like, Oh, boss is out, right? <laughs> no, I kept, I'm in charge. Bitch. I kept thinking about it. And this is, this is how it went in my head. Give me a second. So she, the guy goes to Texas. He fucks off to Texas. Uh-huh. She's under the impression, which apparently it is a thing. Now that he's gone, I am now acting governor. Right. So she... <laughs> I get to sit in the big chair this week. <laughs> <laughs> what uh, What am I going to do for... Janice, uh, bring me a coat. You do answer to me, actually. Uh, I don't know if you heard. Uh, I don't know if you heard, but Big Dicks. Big Dicks in Texas. Now the big pussy is here. Uh, (laughs) How'd you get that off? (laughs) What should I do for... What the fuck should I do first? Uh... You know what? I'm sick of going to Walmart and having to wear a mask. Hey, bring me one of them pamphlets. Bring me, bring me that. Uh, bring me that yellow note. Bring me the yellow notepad, Janice. Janice, bring your fat ass back in there, Janice. Janice, bring me the notepad. As of tomorrow, you ain't gotta wear a mask. No fucking wear. <laughs> Boom! Posted on Twitter. Say something about it, dick. That motherfucker came back quick. You can't do that. Uh, <laughs> it means nothing. I'm going to turn everything over once I get back. You try to turn my shit over. I'm going to send the fucking National Guard down there. Fuck that. Fuck that. Press the button. Press the button. National Guard. Fuck them up. How you feel now, bitch? Hey, uh, <laughs> hey, uh, <laughs> I don't want, I don't want you to get too ahead of yourself. Uh, we're not going to do nothing. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> So you mean to tell me that I just ordered a lifetime supply of tampons on the fucking government credit card and I can't do shit? <laughs> and I really, did, I really believe in my heart. She went in there and put her feet up on the desk and she just had a moment where she was like, I'm the big dick in the office now. The big pussy. <laughs> Everybody hail the big pussy. First things first. I want all child molesters to be dropped off of a building. No, you can't do that. I'm not going to do that. I was kidding. I'm not going to do that. You can't do that. Shut the fuck up. Yes, I can. I was just kidding. I was just kidding. I was just kidding. Uh, no. All heroin use is legal. No. Miss <laughs> Lieutenant Governor, you can't. Like, that's a federal. You can't. You're not allowed. Federal. You, you don't have control. Oh, fuck, man. Can't do nothing Can't around. Do shit around him. <laughs> <laughs> Clicks on Hulu. <laughs> Go watch the wire. And then while she, and then while Janice, she's sitting, Janice, bring me a butterfly. <laughs> and then while she's sitting there, she's like, "Fuck, I, 
You got the fucking cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> Janice! <laughs> Janice ain't answering. Fuck it. I'm about to go to the store. So she pulls up. She gets out. She goes to walk in. Hey, you got to have your mask on. Oh, fuck. Shit. I got to do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Janice, bring me the deal. No, bring me the legal pad. I'm going to write it down real quick. You never have to wear a mask ever again forever. <laughs> Do you know who I am? <laughs> yes, yes, Miss Lieutenant Governor. No, it's Governor today, <laughs> motherfuckers. I feel like I feel like huh, Latoya to destroy his friends. Oh man, what? <laughs> like she like called this. her and was like, "Girl, guess who left?" <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, bitch. <laughs> Latoya, Latoya sitting there, right? Latoya sitting there going, Oh, I know this bitch stupid. Watch this. You know why he out of town. You can do whatever the fuck you want, man. Right? You can just end that mask mandate. I can't do nothing about mine. I can't do nothing about mine. These niggas don't listen, girl. <laughs> uh, girl, girl, you want to have a drink? Nah, I'm after, I can't do that no more. <laughs> That shit fucked me up. That bitch started doing coke off the governor's desk and everything. Just like, I'm the big pussy in town. This is your substitute teacher ass now. So <laughs> Ain't nobody finna listen to you, bitch. <laughs> and then she's sitting there like while, while the National Guard's like, ma'am, do we need to come pick your ass up? And she's like, I'm just trying to fucking help. I'm, I'm just, just trying doing to fuck my job. <laughs> And even the people that don't want to wear a mask are like, Miss Lieutenant Governor, you all right? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not okay. I have not slept since he left, and I have done a ridiculous amount of coke. Because <laughs> no one can tell me anything. And they're like, ma'am, that's still illegal. <laughs> no. <Nuh-uh. laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up over there. I changed that this morning. <laughs> She said this morning. Janice poke her head in. I told you you couldn't do. Janice, get the fuck out. (laughs) (laughs) That bitch thought she was president. (laughs) That was starting wilding. That's why you didn't give her those powers, son. She even had a quick moment where she was just like, and and the Holocaust never happened. (laughs) Whoa. Whoa. Does another line of coke. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody bring me my martini class. Where is Martin? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, I'm not doing this at all. I ain't doing this at all today. Oh, fuck. For the long time listeners, you caught that reference and I love you guys. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, give one to yourself. I'm impressed. Oh, shit. I'm impressed you got that. You that's, the, that one back. that's the first time we've ever done an Easter egg. There you go. Oh, oh shit. shit. Yeah, so uh, Stop it. somebody <laughs> tell the Lieutenant Governor of Idaho, as much as we appreciate your efforts, sit the fuck down. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she's not the Lieutenant Governor of Idaho no more. I was still not getting that shit off. <laughs> governor, <laughs> governor came back and she was in that bitch like, oh, so you're back. <laughs> I thought when I deployed the National Guard, they were going to block. I literally, <laughs> no, she, she, <laughs> she, put out, she put out an order to the state police and was like, y'all go line up the line across the bottom of Idaho and when he tries to come in just be like no no <laughs> and then she was like I forgot you took a plane I fucked up <laughs> he's like I forgot to call the air force <laughs> to block all the air, air traffic in Idaho no the fucked up part was no she didn't she got she made a she made one quick phone call and was like hey Dave uh Oh, Miss Lieutenant Governor, what's going on? Yeah, I just wanted to ask real quick. What are the odds? If 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 he tries to fly back in here, you can shoot. Hey, I'm sorry. He was out of He's gonna come back from Texas soon. Hold on, I gotta get it out. I gotta get it out. I gotta get it out. He's gonna be coming back. He's gonna be coming back soon from Texas. What are the odds you'll be able to shoot his plane? <laughs> when he tries to come, man, that's that is absolutely not gonna be able to happen. Okay, forget our call. Forget our call. <laughs> it was a hypothetical. <laughs> prank call. Prank call. <laughs> oh man. Oh shit. I can't breathe. Mm-hmm. I can't. <laughs> 
Ooh, that fucking hurt. I feel, I feel like that'll be Nikki on tequila. You know what I'm saying? I, that'd be Nikki on tequila. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. <laughs> Nikki ain't had a real drink in nine months, and then all of a sudden we just left her alone with a bottle of tequila. And, and power. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. A bottle of tequila and a red button. Holy shit. That motherfucker got to take out the trash, press his button. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I'd be dead way too fucking quick. Ooh, that poor woman. <laughs> so, oh, shit. She's she at the unemployment office right now. <laughs> <laughs> I was lieutenant governor. I tried to make still, a change. She's still getting that shit off. <laughs> <laughs> but nobody wants to fucking listen to me. <laughs> Holy shit. I told uh, y'all. <laughs> Y'all wait, y'all wait and see. I know so much. <laughs> <laughs> you know these old spiteful dogs. I know so much. <laughs> and then, and then, like my kid was born like a week later. So, or like, n- like the week, the next week. So it was like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not stopping everything. And I got a fucking three day old in there, and I'm not about to do a show while she's in there. F- like, like her fucking hair is standing up. There. <laughs> <laughs> she dog is weird, bro. Like I, I'll, t- I'll tell you that, man. Like shout out to all the dads out there and everything else. Like it's weird, like because like ah, he about to be this nigga. No, it's, it's true. Because <laughs> like no, no, and don't worry, you know me. I'm not. I'm not gonna be that type for that long. Just give me a second. Let me get this. Get, get him. Get your but, uh, but yeah, like there, there was, there was definitely that that moment where it's like I, I do be doing the gay shit. Like I had a moment the other day. Nicole handed me the uh, handed handed me the phone. Handed me the child. <laughs> And um, I'm still, I'm still not on board. <laughs> I put his little put his little belly button up to me. Yeah. That nigga got, the, that nigga got the pregnancy brain. That nigga ain't got it. He do. No. And Over I'm there saying, answering his baby and shit. Little, Why this phone ain't working? <laughs> Pussing his belly button. I'm doing a little thing like I'm I'm just sitting in a rocking chair holding him. And then after a couple of minutes, I do the little put my little head on his head and kiss his little foots. And then. You have the beautiful, I, I'd probably do it too. You I have can't. the beautiful moment. Yeah, yeah, you do. You, yeah. I'm about to say, if you alone with the baby, you probably just do you. you that's when your softness comes. But out. all the guys in the comments right now that are fathers right now, that's all they'll tell you. All yep. they're gonna tell you is you're not gonna sleep, and it's beautiful. That's all they're gonna tell yeah. you. I'm here to tell you the real shit. This motherfucker didn't shit for a full 24 hours. <laughs> he started to get nervous. We were having talks back and forth. We're gonna have to call the pediatrician because he's not pooping. Next thing you know, it's 3 a.m. Motherfucker starts crying. We look, there's poop in the diaper. I'm like, yes, we're good, we're good. All right, let me go change him. <laughs> I'm exhausted. I'm fucking, I'm, I'm walking like I'm drunk while I'm bringing him to go to the changing table. I bring him in there and I start setting him up, take it off, poop, throw it away, put the new diaper on. I go to pick him up. I'm like, cool, he's good. I can go right back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, see, and that's when I start thinking of like looking at myself because I'm like, he didn't shit for a whole day. <laughs> <laughs> There's gonna be a lot in there that was not enough. Like, the diaper was not full enough. So, so I take the diaper off. I wipe him. I wipe him down again. Because again, like I, I think Jim Jeffrey said it best. He was like, the best thing about having a boy is you can wipe however you want. And nothing bad happens. Got to be careful with girls. You can't do that. Yeah. But luckily, I have a boy. I just got to make sure I lift the ball sack. Wipe underneath that. That's the part I always miss. But it's cool. <laughs> so maybe got shitty balls. Poor so fucked up. Poor guy. It's fucked up. <laughs> poor guy. <laughs> But now, now I'm sitting there. I take the second diaper off, and I'm like, "Good job, buddy!" And like, I give him a little fist, but his hands don't know what they're doing yet. But like, I tried, I tried, and then he he. All right, it's getting hot. Um, <laughs> nigga, like a battle rap. Nigga, like a battle rapper. Wait, 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 wait. He has a vest on, everybody. It's a fucking vest. It's not a jacket, nigga. You ain't got no sleeves on. It's just hot in here. You're like, uh, man, you're like a mid round battle rapper. Just get his fucking jacket off. Give my water. Give me my water. Hit that water. But but then so like I take the second diaper off and I'm like, all right, cool. Let's let's get this let's get this rolling. <laughs> So I throw it away. As I, I swear to God, we got a, we have a garbage can right next to the, uh, to the, to the changing table, so we can just boop boop throw it away. As I'm lifting it up to throw it away, I hear, and I'm like, wait, he don't have a diaper on. <laughs> so I turn and I look, and sure enough, the fucking changing table is just covered in mustard. And I'm like, I'm like, dude, you couldn't just. You can just wait a couple more seconds. So now I'm wiping it up and I'm holding his little feet up and I'm wiping underneath it. And now I'm ha- I'm, I'm doing questionable things. I'm staring at a newborn's butthole. Like, you got anything else in there? Before I'm shaking him up and down a little bit. Like if there's anything else in there, let it be known. Remember that batting on his stomach and shit? Yeah. Remember that barrel you're talking about never yes. looked down? Yes. So now I'm looking and now like I'm, I'm mad uncomfortable because I'm staring at a, at a butthole. 
And and now finally, I'm just like, all right, all right. I wipe him down again. I put the diaper on. I swear, I swear <laughs> to fucking Christ. <laughs> Get fucking free. You motherfucker. <laughs> Take the diaper off. Wipe him down. I put it down. I go to throw it away. <laughs> I'm like, you have to be fucking kidding me. Like, dude. And, uh, I y'all, tell you going to learn today. Y'all you going to learn <laughs> Y'all are looking at me, Scott. You being Scott. You being funny. Stop. No, <laughs> this motherfucker would not stop, son. I finally got the fourth fucking diaper on him, and then I just sat there. <laughs> I'm wide awake now. He's sleeping. <laughs> and I'm like, it must be fucking nice. <laughs> I'm just staring at him, and he's doing his cute little shit. I'm like, not today, motherfucker. <laughs> and then we finally, are no longer friends. Sir. Finally, I said, okay. I picked him up. I got halfway to the bedroom. <laughs> I'm like I'm done. Damn, I'm fucking done. Don't sleep in it. Don't fucking sleep in it. <laughs> so yeah, man. Uh, honestly, it, it, being a parent's beautiful. Uh, <laughs> well, hands in hell. Yeah. It's weird. What you got, babe? You were pointing at something? Yeah, the other uh, bus. It. Oh, the oh shit, the uh, bus driver in St. Bernard. Oh, yeah. Lord oh. have mercy. This is more local news. Jesus Christ. Let me see if I can find the quote. Because <laughs> just I, been wild this week. Bro, <laughs> it's so been let's crazy. Set the scene. You better go ahead and set the scene. <laughs> so you're in St. Bernard Parish. Your bus driver is clearly missing all her teeth from drug abuse. Clearly. <laughs> clearly. So the kid was running up to the bus and his mask was down. No, his mask was on running to the bus and he pulled it down to catch his breath when he got there. Yes. What Turtle said. Yeah. Proceed. And then she like. Well, he, he apparently took it down yep. and she then apparently looked at him and said, no, you need to have your mask on. And the child report, re- replied, but ma'am, I can't, can't breathe. breathe. Yep. To which she responded, <laughs> since George Floyd, that's what you all say, but I don't see a knee on your neck. Ladies and gentlemen, my soul left my body when I left that <laughs> when I read that fucking quote. I was like, "Boy, that's why I can't be a parent nine days. I'd have fucking killed somebody that day. Somebody gonna die that day. The way my mama somebody used to run up die. in schools, I feel like it's perfectly fine. <laughs> what <laughs> shit look legal to me? <laughs> what?" Y'all know my mama. My mama's the sweetest white woman you'll ever meet in your life. That bitch ran up into so many of my classrooms. Like, look, hold the fuck up, homeboy. You got my son's face, and he is a 14-year-old child. You are a 50-something-year-old man. Do you want to go with me? I'll get you. Face. I'll get you. Granted, face. you were 6'2 at 14, so, Thanks. you know. And I mean, and I, mean I ain't going to say this to my mom. Thank God she doesn't really watch the show like talking about, but I, they kind of had a reason to get in my face. You know what I'm saying? Like, they typically I did, but, I you know, exactly, fuck that. I didn't exactly make the classroom a teachable environment. You know what I'm saying? And the next you going to get in my face, though? <laughs> right. Hold, no, fuck hey. that, nigga. I'm the baby. My hey. mama love me. Hey, hey. <laughs> Any other my West Jeff friends watch this uh, watch this show, please let me know if you remember Mr. Williams. That motherfucker used to walk in there. He always had a bounce in his step. You could, you could tell homie was a crackhead. And then finally, like, I remember he used to do that shit to people all the time. Like, finally, he drug me outside by the back of my fucking shirt, put me up against the lockers, got right here in my face and was like, you going to do something? Do something. Do something, boy. Boy, you going to do something? Do something. And then finally, I'm sitting I'd have there. I kissed his nose. I know. I, I literally just put, <laughs> I just put my hand on his chest and bagged him up. And I was like, you're too close, man. You're too close. <laughs> and then, a couple, like, finally, I, and that's when I went home. I told my mama, like a, like a good white boy. And my mama went to the school the next day. And then told she all I heard, all she told me was they had a conversation. And then the next day, that motherfucker was walking around with a new pep in his step. How you doing, Mr. Scott? How's everything going? You know, I talked to your mama yesterday. I said, oh, yeah, I heard. <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and he went, you know, I was a really good person. You were a really good kid. Keep it up, boy. And then just kept it moving. And I was like, God damn, Ma, what you told this man? <laughs> we come a long way in these last 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> and then two weeks Some later. resolve in this bitch. <laughs> and then two weeks later, the bell rang. We were switching classes. And I walked over his limp body because he did the same shit to another student and they dropped his ass. Yep. <laughs> oh shit. He pulled his taser out because he used to he started bringing a taser to school because <laughs> he thought because the students were talking about beating his ass. So he started wearing, bringing a taser. Finally, one day a student pissed him off so much he put the taser to the kid's head. Kid dropped him. Bow. Sleeping in the middle of. Fair enough. Can a teacher threaten? Absolutely not. Yeah. <laughs> Everything he was so doing was illegal. How was he even allowed to bring the taser with him? Uh, concealed carry is real. Y'all remember that in a su- high school? Y'all remember that uh, substitute we didn't have, we that didn't beat the no shit out of a kid at Eric? 
Yes. Because he thought he was going to do the same thing. They had like a substitute in one of the classes. I believe, uh, what you call it, my partner Jeremy was going there at the time. They fucking, the dude stood up in the middle of class and was like barking at the substitute or whatever. And apparently the substitute was like, I ain't your teacher. You ain't going to talk to me like that. And the kid got in his face and the substitute pieced his ass. Boop, boop. <laughs> <laughs> Told you. Somehow I agree. <laughs> Told you. Somehow yeah, I agree. Like, I, I, I literally warned you. You know what I'm saying? Like, nothing says I'm, I'm going to whoop your ass other than, like, I'm, I'm not your teacher. I'm whooping your ass. Fuck like, that. I ain't your teacher, boy. What you got, babe? Go ahead. What, what did the. the, the, the... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Talking to Mike. <laughs> Just shoving it in the face like that. What did the teacher have? You said a gun? No, he didn't have nothing. No, he, he had these right here. Oh, yeah, yeah. he said popped them. I was like. He shot a student? No, no. <laughs> nah, he just got three pieces up real quick. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> We're on the same page. That motherfucker thought Popeye's delivered that three piece game so fast. <laughs> Hot and ready like Lil Caesar, bitch. Oh, well, teach us. Speaking of, <laughs> I'm your new basketball coach. <laughs> <laughs> Coach carted the fuck out this nigga. <laughs> you used to call me crazy Joe. I didn't call me Batman. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, but it's actually staying on shitty ass teachers. So there was apparently a student in uh Michigan that came home one day to her parents and her her hair was cut. Uh oh. yeah, her, no, her hair was cut off, fucked up, asked the little girl what happened. And the little girl said one of the students cut her hair on the bus. Hmm. So they brought the little girl to a salon, got the hair all cut correctly, made it look all nice, sent the baby back to school. Uh, next day, baby comes back from school crying with her hair cut even shorter than it was when she left. Not just even shorter, but they did a hack job on yeah, the baby hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like she had like long, flowing, short. beautiful curls. She was a little biracial angel. Mm-hmm. And then they <laughs> asked, they said, baby, what happened? And, they, and she said, a teacher cut my hair and that is when I became, like, you know those really aggravating ass people that, like, they get a kid and suddenly it's like, oh, my God, like, as a parent, you don't understand. You just don't understand. That is what I became, and I'm not even a parent yet. I was like, <laughs> my first thought was, you cut my baby's hair, I'm going to the school with a backpack full of oranges. And, like, I'm just going to beat the shit out of you. <laughs> like, fuck the sock. I'm going to put him in the sock. backpack. Put him in the backpack. <laughs> I Can't enough food. oranges fit in this sock. <laughs> I would be pissed off your ass. if like a family member brought my kid to go get their. Family. I'd be pissed off if I wake up one day and you yeah. cut my kid <laughs> yeah. and didn't say nothing about it. You know what I'm saying? Like we didn't even have a discussion. Like, and, and, and anyone who touches the kid's hair without my approval you, would be you that's dirty, disastrous. dusty, dizzy, dumb, dumb bitch. Mm-hmm. Like, what have you lost your f- mm-hmm. mother? My fucking <laughs> blood pressure. You cut my baby's hair, bitch. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm about and to then, fade you up. And then he, the man said every time he no tried, clippers. Man said every time he tried to call the school, they they didn't have no answers for him, so yep. they couldn't figure out which teacher it was. Okay, I don't give a fuck. Right. That child was seven years old. You could point him out, baby. Which one did it? Facts. I know she remember. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Me and you together. And, uh, <laughs> we're about to go to each period together, like a <laughs> fucking <laughs> superhero. <laughs> You know what? I'm thinking about sending my other child here. Fuck I just want to sit in on class. I'm about to shave my face and dress up like a seven year old. Come on, baby. We got this. You <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting the oranges in the backpack. What is going on in this world that you feel like you could put clippers to any child's head? At school. At school. Without letting the, par- the parent know first. Right. Like what? What is going on? Like here? the child had to walk in literally with an infestation of fucking ticks, fleas, and goddamn. Call me first. And goddamn, what that other shit? Lice. Lice. That shit white people get. Yeah, lice. <laughs> no, but here's what you do: you call me and you say, "Hey, your kid, I can, I'm looking down at their head, and all I see are bugs running around. Your child has a very terrible case of lice. Uh, either come pick them up. I might not even call you. I'm gonna be with the Clippers. Like, hey, yo, look, this what happened. Right. <laughs> this shit look nasty. No, but all you gotta do, all you have to you do don't is have call me. Hair to get lice out, y'all. But you that's what people do. It. No, you don't. People do that. What are you Some talking people, about? Maybe Some for boys. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, absolutely yeah. for boys. Yeah. I got a yeah. fucking mayonnaise on me. Right. Uh, peanut butter. I got lice once in second grade, and they, we put mayonnaise in the hair. Oh, the mayonnaise in the hair. Uh, it was a pretty we, interesting. Al, the first time Alice got uh, got fucking lice, they put like the 
some kind of like chemical shit to kill him off, yeah. my baby's head was pink Ooh. for like a month and a yeah, half. Them chemical burns. I wanted to fucking kill somebody. I was like, <laughs> look at her hair. <laughs> she looks like a fucking full street hooker. You did this to my fucking godchild. Fucking treasure troll running around here. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but like I feel like that's that's been a thing before. Like I remember, uh, I remember when I was in elementary school, they were retarring the roof. And one of the little girls was walking underneath one of the uh, breezeways, and a big old clump of tar just fell in her fucking hair. And uh, yeah, you heard every teacher in the fucking school go, "Okay, okay, okay." okay, okay. <laughs> that little girl was gone for the next five periods. They were dousing her fucking head in peanut butter because apparently that's a fucking thing. Yeah, and they were using all of that shit to try to get in. I'm like, I wonder when they called her fucking parents. Like, right? Hey, please don't sue us. Please don't sue us. <laughs> was now, it hot tar, nigga? Yeah. She oh, wasn't like burned. Oh no, no, it wasn't that hot. But like, it oh, was okay. enough, it, it was, was enough to be loose. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then I was about uh, to say, nigga, tar. Nah, <laughs> that's the uh, that's the Christ the King school right there off uh, Deerfield in Terrytown. And I'm gonna say them say them like that because uh, Christ the King. They're the well, they're closed down Christ, now, oh. so it don't matter. But uh, you know what else didn't help was that they were. I am riding to work one day. I am in the car heading to Hammond, so I had just enough time to catch the Breakfast Club. And as I'm sitting there listening to it out of nowhere, they go, yeah, so we have a report coming from uh, Christ the King Parish School. And, I'm, and my first thought is, wow, that's crazy. Like, they got a, uh, you always think it's cool when you're like, yeah, like, they're mentioning something that sounds like something in your life. And I'm like, right. wow. And they were like, yeah, in Terrytown, Louisiana. And I went, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I grew up three doors down. I'm pretty much on the breakfast club right now. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like yo, what the fuck happened? And they were like, yeah, apparently uh, a video went viral because they sent the little black girl home because they, uh, because of her hair. Yep. And I was like, yep, I remember you that. You cocksucking sons of bitches. Yep. Like, uh, y'all have not evolved at all since I went to that school. Because I remember they were racist back when I went there. <laughs> and then motherfuckers, oh, my Oh, yeah, God, when I was going to was visitation hilarious. as a baby, I had to, I, like, I couldn't have, I either had to have, like, a high top fade or just a ball fade. Well, here's I couldn't the thing. have long hair when I was younger. Here's the thing. I know they're not. That's why I grew my shit in middle school. Put it like this. I'll, like I'll say it like this. I know Christ the King as a school, as a, as a, as a, <laughs> As a school, I know that they weren't inherently racist, to my knowledge. Yeah. But I know that they were wildly misinformed. Yeah. And I think that's more or less what it was, is like that moment where a white person does something and they're like, wait, that's racist? Right. I'm sorry. Like, I think that's what more or less happened. But it was still the fact that it's like, I remember the heartless motherfuckers that used to work there. Because like, uh, when I was coming up in there... I remember they used to have uh, kids that would cut themselves. And, mm-hmm. like, you know, it was, it was a cry for attention. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? You can ask my mom. I remember one day I'm getting out of the fucking shower and I fell. And when I fell, I tried to catch myself and I caught the, uh, the drawer handle mm-hmm. on, like, it, like, scuffed up all my fucking wrist. And then I remember, like, r- my mom wrapped it up for me and everything. And I remember saying to her, oh, no. <laughs> if I go to school tomorrow, they're going to think I'm one of the ones trying to cut myself. And like this, that, and the fifth. I go to school, and all I got in the back of my head is my girlfriend at the time. If you can have, if you can have a girlfriend in fucking elementary school. I remember she was, can. she was having a hard time with like the cutting and like all of that other stuff. Mm-hmm. I remember she was telling me stories about sitting in the counselor's office, and they sat there, and they cried. And they were like, you're such a beautiful girl, and we don't want nothing bad to happen to you. And we want you to, we want to see you graduate from this elementary school. And it's beautiful, and blah 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 blah. And I'm like, maybe I'll get the same kind of treatment. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they'll stop being bitches to me for once, and I'll actually get like a little bit of love. Nah, they called me in that fucking office, and they were like, yeah, we find out you're cutting yourself again, you expelled. <laughs> <laughs> well, shit, that's woke. <laughs> that's woke. That's a true fucking story. They brought a ten year old child. We're in twenty nine now. It's funny. No, no, no. no you know, I know it's fucking hilarious, but it's like. They brought me into a fucking office, sat me down by myself. They didn't call my fucking mom. They sat me down by myself, and they basically just went, look, I don't care if you have mental issues. I don't care if you're going through any sort of depression where you're trying to take, where you're taking it out on yourself physically. If you do it again, you're the fuck out of here. We're sick of dealing with it, to be honest with you. We're sick of dealing with it. It's like, just, just your luck, the time that you go in there, you're not cutting yourself. Exactly. And you know who told me that? The fucking guidance counselor, bitch, guide. Guide me. I'm sick of you little bastards. <laughs> you know what I say? You should have went home, opened them up. Fuck it. Oh. Fuck it. Oh, you don't care, huh, bitch? I did it right there in the office while she's sitting there. Like, now what? Now what? <laughs> What you got to say now, Miss Catholic lady? School? <laughs> and now I am feeling the blood of Christ <laughs> flow down. Oh, I'm dizzy. <laughs> <laughs>
guy was basically, this guy I was watching, he was basically saying, like, you're showing kids these movies, and then they're going to go out and recreate it and go out and do this, and then that's going to make kids think that it's, first of all, we got four men in the room, Nicole couldn't be here today. We have four men in the room. Is being gay a switch that you can flick on? Fuck, fuck no. no. Can fuck any no. Of, could any Absolutely of y'all not. right now go out and suck a dick? No. Nope. No. No. I got bad gag. How much that. money? How much Facts. money's on the table? I throw up brushing my teeth, son. How much money's on the table? <laughs> Every morning. I can be gay for pay if the price is okay. I'm not sucking but a dick for me, no. I'll suck a dick for $2 million. <laughs> but if, we'll talk about it later. Uh, but... <laughs> Don't look at me like that, Joe. I'm no, good. no, no. Like, I don't, I don't Joe's know. like, how much money I got in my account? Like, I can see if this motherfucker is serious or not. <laughs> but, uh, see if he sucked his dick. <laughs> I don't think it's weird. But I think <laughs> that's terrible. It's terrible. We've actually sat there. We've had to talk at work. We've had to talk. We like that. Because we, we, I work around number guys. That's what I was looking at. So because turns, we've had this talk, too. It turns into they have the guy, and he goes, all right, we're like, hey, all right. He's like a big old homophobe. And it's like, hey, would you suck a dick for a b- 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 billion Dollars. Just so you know, it's with a B, a billion dollars. And he went, absolutely not. And I was like, why not? And he was like, because I wouldn't be. And when I go home to my kid at night, I could say, every dollar that I have, your dad earned. And then I said, and then your kids are going to look at me and go, hey, but we're going to go play by Mr. Scott's house (laughs) because he has a slide that goes into a slide that goes into a slide that goes into a pool. That dropped you in the game room. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) It's like, yeah, but your daddy worked hard for what he had. And yeah, Scott sucked a dick for five minutes and now he is a billionaire. Damn, some five five minutes. minutes, I'm good at what I do. I mean, if you want to waste a billion, if you want to waste a billion dollars on my terrible gag reflex, that's what I'm ahead. saying. Like this, <laughs> right. it's not going to be an enjoyable blowjob. I hope not. I'm not going to enjoy this. I fucking hope not. I'm going to look you in your eyes right as I'm going down, and I'm going to go. You're going to look at my eyes. I'm going to look at my eyes. You're going to look at my eyes, and I'm going to quote 300. You will not enjoy this. First thing, your finger, and then do like this. He'll make you stop. I promise. You're going to look at you like, oh hell no, you're going to bite my shit. Nah, 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 nah. So, I mean, that was a, yeah, I said that all the time. I was like, motherfucker. I had a friend, one of, one of my coworkers, I looked at him and I said, a billion dollars for you to suck a dick. He said, for a billion, you'd have to pay me to stop sucking dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> I was like, I mean, how I am. Like, From rags to riches in 45 seconds. Oh, yes. son. <laughs> I was like, yo, motherfuckers are literally... Time to buy mama a house. There's going to be there's gonna be a stranger. There's going to be a stranger, I don't know, at a bar in the city, 20 miles, 20 miles from here. And he's going to look. You. He's going to be he's gonna be leaning on the bar. He's going to be leaning on the bar, and he's going to have like a, a drink in his hand. He's going to be sipping. It's so sad. Oh, and he's gonna his friend's going to walk in and be like, is everything all right, bro? And he's going to be like, nah, dog. Like, I, I work, work hours got cut. I don't have any fucking money. I ain't got enough money to pay my fucking rent, dog. I'm gonna be out on my ass, and dude's gonna go, "Hey, you ever you ever met that dude Scott?" And he's gonna be like, "Who Scott? Who? Yeah, it's the dude that got rich from sucking a dick. You heard? About- oh yeah, <laughs> no, hold on. Yeah, I heard about him. Why? And he goes, "Yeah, he said if you walk up and call him a name for sucking a dick, he just throws a thousand dollars in your face." And I'm gonna be like, "Yeah, I'm gonna be that guy." Like anytime, yeah. they go, oh, look at you, you fucking gay boy. Boom, but I'm rich, bitch, and just keep it moving. Straight out. So oh, I got like, yo, go go call Scott a name. He'll give you $1,000. He'll throw it in your face, but you get $1,000. I'll just walk around with Word. stacks in my pocket. Every time somebody walk up, like, look, you homo, boom. Feed your kids for a month, pussy. I'm going home to my mansion within a mansion within a mansion. I call it the Inception House. Because it's a mansion within a mansion within a mansion. Suck the dick to get here. Yeah, I'll buy your house and then kick you out of it. <laughs> Overnight, I'm richer than Diddy. Let's go. <laughs> I can't fucking. All right, I'm done here. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm richer I think than Diddy be... from sucking a little diggy, huh? Sucking a little diggy. <laughs> Shout out, Dave. Uh, but yeah, I've, <laughs> I've to, to fucking reel it in. Uh, yeah, I think there should be representation in everything. Motherfucker. And I think uh, I, I'm talking about it... a coming out cartoon of sucking dick for a billion dollars. Hey, you know what? We're here. We but out that's, here. That's always... Wait, hold on, wait, 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 fuck you. You came to us for real advice? We're drunk. <laughs> anyway. Hi. <laughs> Salut. So if a bag talk. falls yeah, off the back of one of y'all's trucks, oh, you get one point two million deposited into your bank charge account. Charge it to the game. Cash man. out. Don't move it into another bank account. Yep. Find somewhere to cash the fuck out. Bro. 
I am hit going every ATM from here to Mississippi. Fucking ATM. To, fucking ATM. I'm going to the bank. I'm pulling it out. They're not going to let you pull it out. You don't think? Now, the only what bank you know in this area, in Jefferson Parish, got $1 million in it right now. Uh, I know my ex used, uh, said one time there was a bank that she worked for that she had to uh, count over a million dollars. Oh, word. I don't know how much they keep on them on a daily basis because I know that they can't for obvious reasons. I mean, you might be able to get it at like the joints on in saying. New Orleans the, with the big banks. Yeah, Chase probably hold that shit down. Yeah, I mean. Fuck, you go to Piers Morgan. Uh, Piers Morgan. You go to fucking Chase Bank in, uh, in New JP Orleans. J.P. Morgan. J.P. Morgan, yeah. I'm playing business. You go to the J.P. Morgan in fucking New Orleans. They probably got that shit on deck. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they got they got, they got too many. Well, I'm, I'm still talking about Chase. You got to walk in that Buku ghetto, too. Like, house rolls from slippers. And a duffel bag. One of them shits Joe got on. You know what I'm saying? And a duffel bag. <laughs> be like, yeah, I'm here to make a, 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 a withdrawal. withdrawal. They're going to be like, how much? $1.2 Bitch, hold on. Let me call the police. Listen, Keep point one for yourself. <laughs> Listen to me, people. Don't walk in there like this. Don't do that. Put a suit on, nigga. Put a suit on. I'm talking like dress Make it to, believable. Park dress, like three blocks away of your car piece facts. of shit. Dress to the nine, my hey, guy. You know what? Fuck Tell him you took a cab. <laughs> Fuck that. Take the little bit. Use your debit card. You got it. Rent a, rent a limousine real quick. Look the part. Yeah. yeah. Pull right. up. Get out the back. Have somebody escort your ass inside and be like, yeah. hello. I need a Have a martini, have a martini, the have a martini glass in your hand. Money. It could be empty. <laughs> Just have a martini glass in your hand. Hello. When you walk in, button your blazer. You I'd, know like what I'm saying? To, I'd like to talk to Martin. <laughs> talk at it the whole Who time the he talks to him. Martin? <laughs> oh, is Martin not here today? Hmm, silly goose. Must be at his condo. <laughs> 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 He didn't call me. It's crazy. He always does. Is Barbara here? Is Barbara here? The whole nine. Yeah, and then just yeah, goes, sit your ass down in front of somebody and just be like, I'd like to make a withdrawal. Take all of that money out and go hide that shit somewhere. Yeah. Don't look at many eyes when you're doing it. You just look off like you're better than them. You know what I'm <laughs> yeah, I like to pull out. Nah, keep your sunglasses on. Yeah, just keep your sunglasses and on. And just keep asking for Martin. Where yeah. is Martin? <laughs> so have you heard anything about this kid? <laughs> Does his puppy still have worms? Mm, so sad. Is his daughter still <laughs> dying of leukemia? Monocle wearing motherfuckers. Next, next thing you know, you're talking to the branch manager, and he's just like, "Sir, nobody named Martin <laughs> works here. <laughs> Here's your fucking money. We've had it ready for an hour. Can you leave? And not until somebody fills this martini glass. <laughs> I didn't come here for games. <laughs> I don't want the money, silly goose. You think I need the money? Do you see what I pulled up in, sir? <laughs> I just came to talk to Martin. That didn't say Bo Johnny Reynolds on the back. Nigga, if you don't get the fuck out of here. <laughs> he said he gives you a discount if it's your fucking prom night. <laughs> oh, why you got that stupid ass corsage on, you <laughs> dumb <laughs> That's crazy. The last time I came here, they gave me croissants. I'm very upset that there isn't any croissants. <laughs> Holy shit. And is Martin ever going to show up? <laughs> Where is Martin? <laughs> Monica wearing my God damn it. Name of the episode. Where is Where is Martin? <laughs> they gonna listen to this shit. Yo, who the fuck is Martin? <laughs> <laughs> and when is he gonna get brought up? <laughs> <laughs> they gonna have that one dumb nigga go up to spin, Chase Bank and be like, yo, they said the ask for a nigga named Martin. <laughs> One of them ghetto stupid motherfuckers we hang out with. Hey, yo, where that dude Martin be at, Zane? Where that dude Martin? Where that he dude said Martin? they can get in our loans and shit. And then trying to see what's up. Call it, calling on our goddamn show, bitching us the fuck out. Like, yo, I tried to ask for Martin, B. <laughs> where, you, where you calling from that Bing? <laughs> Went up and they asked for Martin, shit got ignorant. <laughs> Wait, no, you really messed that oh, up. Oh, my God. I hate, I hate that shit. That's yeah. my <laughs> wake up tone, fuck. yo. Fuck. Mine too. But then from there, it was like we're walking around. We end up going, and I know we Where talked about that? it a little bit, but it was like that uh, that what? woman, she's sitting there and she's singing all of her own original music. And she made sure everybody knew that. Every time you walk by, she's like, I want to know your favorite color. Your favorite. Wait, what was it? No. It was, I want to know your favorite food. Your favorite color. <laughs> and what you do. Undercover. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> all right, <laughs> that that jumped very fast. Uh, it's blue and calm the fuck down. Uh, but yeah, and then and it was even weirder because it was like, <laughs> it was even weirder. blue and nachos. Bitch, move on. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm sitting there watching this woman, and she kept having these little moments where she would just like finish her, and she let you know after every song, uh, I only perform. My original music. And so we yeah, all. Oh, we know, bitch. <laughs> we know. We know. And then from there, 
It's like I'm watching Nerd her. This shit. And I even had this like little this little moment to myself. I'm just like, you know, I talked a little shit about it last week, but I'm like, this is dope. I'm like, I do love to see people out like you couldn't go from one corner to the next without hearing some music. Right. But what I didn't like was the uh the moment of like she's like, All right, well that was another one of my original songs. <laughs> and I also yeah. wanted to let y'all know, you know what, if you're walking past me right now and you're hearing my smooth sounds, what you could do right now is, you know, it's a beautiful day. You could always take a ride on the ferry. You know, they got the Canal Street Ferry right there connects to the Algiers Canal, uh, the Algiers Point. You can always, uh, you know, take a little ride over there if you want to. I'm standing right here in front of the aquarium of the Audubon, a couple, mo- a couple uh, blocks down. We got the, the zoo, you know what I'm saying, across the street from me directly. As you can see, we got the Harris Casino. Uh, you know, anything you want to do right now in this beautiful town. Here's another original song that I wrote. <laughs> in the back By of my me. Head, the head, and in the back of my head, I'm sitting there watching like, <laughs> I wonder. Song, like the hit? I wonder. <laughs> I wonder where the guy is with the clipboard walking around because she she got sick of paying her fees for performing right there. And they're like, all right, you don't got to pay fees no more as long as you mention here's a list of all the different businesses. Here's all the list of different businesses in the city that you're going to have to mention while you're up here performing. Hey, YouTube that hoe. <laughs> and she's sitting there thinking about it like, all right, fuck it. I ain't got to pay no fees. I'll promote whatever the fuck y'all want me to do. And they're like, all right, the streetcar's right here. You got the, the, the ferry right here. The hair is right there. The... The aquarium's behind you. Get it, Melissa. And like as she's like singing, you got a guy just standing there staring at her. <laughs> <laughs> and every now and then he's just tap his watch. <laughs> you done three songs already, Melissa. <laughs> Finally, after a little while, he goes, Hey, Gerard, the guy playing the guitar. His name's Gerard. <laughs> hey Gerard, stop playing for a second. He walks over to you, gets like uncomfortably close to her face. Hi, right, Melissa. Uh, let me ask you a question. You uh, you like penguins? Yeah, yeah, I like penguins. Yeah. Do you? Okay, okay. You ever seen Finding Nemo? Yeah, yeah. Why? You love that movie, don't you? Yeah, everybody loves. Yeah, everybody loves that movie. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, I want to go see all of those different animals, <laughs> but why can't I go see them? I don't know, Todd. What are you? What are you talking? I can't go see them because you forgot to mention the fucking aquarium <laughs> in your last break. You're standing behind it, and everybody's walking past you, but not one person you looked at and said, "Hey, you want to go see fucking Nemo? He's right there. Found him." <laughs> I don't understand where the disconnect is, but you're under contract, <laughs> Melissa. <laughs> You miss one advertisement, you get the fuck out, Melissa. $500 a week. You want to bring your family back to that? <laughs> no. All we ask you to do, mention the fucking slot machines. <laughs> you can sing all your fucking originals. That's your you mention that more than you mention the fucking banana special that they got going on at the fucking aquarium right now. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Melissa <laughs> Fucking Melissa Gerard Stop strumming the guitar I'm getting feedback While I'm bitching out your boss You about to be back Under the fucking bridge We found you If she don't mention The fucking aquarium One more goddamn time Had you some free buffet coupons Over at Harris Casino Can't use them Why? You know why? Because you didn't Fucking mention the casino <laughs> Melissa <laughs> Oh, Ooh, that's crazy. I got money pouring out of my pockets. Where can I go spend it at? I don't know. What am I paying you for, Melissa? To tell them the casino's right fucking now. You know what? Give me your parking pass. No, you know Give what? me your parking pass. Babe, the, Give me- hold on. Babe, they're not a call. Oh, man. Babe, they're not a call. My mother's calling right now like we're not in the middle of a goddamn show. So you, know you what we literally about to do? just tell she everybody that she doesn't to deny your mother's call. You know what? I told, no, I told her to deny my mother's call because we're about to call her back right now. Uh-oh. Let's hear my. Hello. Hey, mom. Guess what? You're on the Hangover Podcast show because we're in the middle of recording and you're calling Nicole while we're live on the air. So, what do you want to say to all the people that watch the show? My son beats me. What the <laughs> hell? <laughs> How do you just jump straight to that? All right, mom. We're going to let you go. Mama Terry, you yeah. go. <laughs> It hurts. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you want, Scott. This is not. <laughs>
And yeah, that about does it. That's about it, man. 2021 in the bag. We about to keep it going. We got plenty more stuff this year. We're going to keep going. I hope we're going to see all y'all at uh, Fan Expo next weekend, as long as nobody catches the vid between here and now. So, yeah, man. Keep it up. Keep getting them likes up. Keep subscribing. Keep fucking tuning into all bullshit every week. You know, we love y'all. And, uh, yeah. So, with that being said, we just going to go ahead and wrap this bitch up right now. I just had shawarma for the first time. It's cold as fuck outside. When I woke up today, it was 75, and now it feels like it's 40. I don't know what the fuck is going on right now. But anyway, thank y'all, man. More than anything, thank y'all. Thank y'all for making this year dope as fuck. And I really hope that we see more progress this year, or we at least keep y'all entertained, the ones that have been sticking with us since the beginning. So thank y'all again from on behalf of everybody on the Hangover Podcast. And uh, thank y'all for having a drink with us all year long. And we'll see you next week. Love you guys. Peace.